and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a daily love reading for you Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be doing it by Zodiac and by singles and couples. So there will be a total of six readings. I'll try to timestamp it so you can find easily the one that you're wanting to watch. If you are in between relationships or waiting on somebody, um, I encourage you to watch both. Um, the only way I wouldn't watch both is if you are totally 110% single, free, not waiting for anyone, not wanting anybody to come back, then you could probably get away with watching the singles, but the couple's energy would probably be a good time prediction for energy moving in, so pretty much I'd watch them both, but that's my opinion. Second, um, I am going to start doing lives uh, daily for your guys' daily love reading, so I can do them by Zodiac. I will do them by element though so like one live I'll, it will be for air signs but in that live i will do gemini libra aquarius separate um and i will do male female and singles couples um for them so if you haven't subscribed yet please do make sure you hit that bell so you're notified of when i go live um make sure that bell is hit because i've been going live the last couple times i went live a couple um, people, well, not more than a couple, but um, said they didn't get notified. So make sure you do that. Um, other than that, thank you for joining me here today. And let's get started. Gemini Singles. Let's get your card of focus. Where's Gemini Singles? Dealing with in love today. Um, these readings aren't date specific. Energy is fluid. Um, so whenever... Whenever you see this message, you are meant to. There is a message if you're drawn to it. So, got half my hair in there. Um, there we go. All right, this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. Open your heart to give and enjoy the highest energy of all because it is safe for you to love this person. So, um, you could be separated or broken up from this person right now. But this most definitely has the potential to be the one for you uh, Gemini singles. So let's get your current situation. Oops, way too many. What is our current situation of our Gemini singles? The page of Pentacles. In your recent past, you have the Two of Swords. In your near future... In your near future, what's our Gemini singles dealing with? You have the Ace of Swords. Nice. Bottom of the deck and foundation to your reading is the Six of Swords. In your crowning energy is the Nine of Wands. You do have the Magician right under that, your card. It's also a card of manifestation, having the power and the tools to uh, build a life and relationship with somebody that you want. There's also somebody, uh, the potential for somebody to come in and offer you a very spiritual connection as well. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use the uh, Celtic Tarot today for your clarifiers. Let's see why this page of Pentacles is here. Somebody's making an offer to you, uh, Gemini Single. And you are hesitant of it because of choices that were made in the past. Um, this person uh, created a need for you to have to move forward and heal um, in the past. So let's see what this Page of Pentacles is here for. Who's making this offer to our Gemini? All right. This um, offer coming in for you um, is coming in from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but either, um, either, no matter what sign it is, it's somebody that was very in and out of your life, very inconsistent. Um, they, they could have not wanted to settle down or they weren't ready to settle down. They were still connected. Um, 
to that single energy. They didn't want to, you know, um, commit to a, a exclusive relationship. They came into your life very quickly, and for some of them, they could have seemed like they just disappeared quickly. Why is the Two of Swords here in the past? It was like only a matter of time before they walked out of your life because they came in so quickly. But the energy here has changed. Yeah, this most definitely is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They were dating other people or you were. One of you made the decision to date other people, to not settle down, to not um, make this exclusive. So you just kind of set out on your own journey um, there, Gemini. Uh, this person you are very like wildly attracted to though. They are very um, like sexually alluring. They're spiritual. They're very connected to the divine. Um, they're very intuitive. And they just have that passion and that appeal about them that makes you want to choose them over and over and over again. I do feel they are no longer the knight. They are the queen. So they are more mature. They are ready to give a commitment that that is just one-on-one. -on -one. What is this? Thank you. Yeah, so in the recent past, Gemini, you could have entered into this relationship a little bit too early um, or wanting this relationship a little too early. You had just recently gotten out of a uh, commitment or a marriage yourself for a lot of you, not all of you. This could just be a, an instability within the home. But for the majority of you, you had just left a marriage or um, somebody you shared a home with, and you had a lot of that, um, those thoughts and that energy that was still with you. You needed to heal that um, in order for this to work. You needed to take the time out to rest um, and heal that mind, body, and soul because you came into this relationship almost with uh, a broken heart already. And for some of you, I think you thought committing to this person would heal the pain of the past. And um, and you weren't ready yet, so this person could have left, giving you time to find your own truth. Um, you are coming out of this situation in the near future with a clear head, a clear mind. You know that you're wanting this person. You, you feel a, a spiritual connection with them as well. Um, the divine is at your back. They have your back. They are not going to lead you into something that you're not meant to be in. So face your fear. Face, you know, face uh, your doubt. Release the fear and have faith that this is what's meant for you. The divine is bringing this person back around for the two of you to start over, to have this new chapter because they are a very strong, spiritual, connected person. Um, and the two of you are like a power couple together. Um, you are coming to the end of a cycle. Um, you could have been fighting this relationship if they tried coming back. They could have offered you, made you this offer already, but you declined it due to their inconsistency of the past. But you're no longer doing that. You're finding your own balance, your own peace, um, healing from this of the past before this person even showed up. So in your own balance, having your own skills balanced out, um, you are getting the opportunity, a second chance to build this relationship that's based on true love, on happiness. Um, this will be a very happy, beautiful relationship. This is somebody at a distance from you. You have to really travel to see this person. Um, it could, you know, have to take a train or a plane or a boat to get to this person. I mean, I'm seeing a large distance, but there is no distance too great when the connection is so strong. Um, this is definitely a rebirth you're going through. Uh, this is a, uh, a very dark time for you. You had to heal from that of the past. And now you're getting a second opportunity to start over new and build this relationship um, beautifully. And in the way that you're wanting it to go, Gemini singles. So trust. This could be the one. It is safe for you to love. You're currently in a separation from this person. But your feelings are real and um, worth exploring for those of you this resonated with. All right. Gemini couples. Let's see what we got on the board for you. I'm going to change decks for you guys. We're going to go to the vice versa tarot. Beautiful deck. I just love every deck that, these, that this person makes. It's uh, that low 
Skaherbo or something like that. I can't remember what his last name is. But every deck they make, it's beautiful. They have the Tarot Illuminati. They have the uh, Wise Spirit. Um, they have the Vice Versa Tarot deck. They have the Triple Goddess Tarot deck. I think, I bet 90% of my decks are, are by them. So, all right, Gemini Couples. Thank you for waiting a minute while I... Got those shuffled with your energy. Let's get your card of focus. That was quick. Children, your love life could be affected by children. Um, bottom of your deck is you deserve love. Remember, you are lovable. So let's see what's going on here. Ooh, that was an ugly shuffle. Okay. Gemini couples. What is their current situation? With this deck, since there are cards on or pictures on both sides, I treat them as if they were to land face down just to keep myself straight. So in your current energy, you have the Empress in reverse. In your recent past, you have the Seven of Pentacles. It is the um, the what would be the reverse side. This is the front. In your near future, you have the Nine of Wands. In your uh, bottom of the deck and foundation, you have the Knight of Wands. And in crowning your reading, you have the Seven of Cups. Okay. So let's see what is going on for our Gemini couples. Okay, so somebody is not seeing clearly. Somebody is very confused um, about what to do. Could be confused about a spouse or somebody that you thought um, was going to be uh, in your life, you know, going to build a life with. Um, you have your back turned towards somebody, Gemini. This is the Empress in the um, in the traditional front. Um, but look how abundant it is in the back. You are no longer looking to uh, somebody else for the truth. You because somebody is trying to confuse you. You're there's clouded energy here. So you are turning your back on the words that people say, and you're trusting the divine to give you your messages. Trusting the divine to bring you in the clarity that you need um, because you're wanting this to flourish you're wanting this to grow but it looks like you're coming out of a cold hard winter um, you need to remain patient um, with a partner if you're wanting to work this out if you're planting new seeds of intention um, then you must have the faith sevens are all about faith um, trusting the divine that that it what's meant for you is coming in for you why is the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse? This is doing a lot of introspection as well, deciding what it is that you truly want. Um, there's just so much confusion here, Gemini. Why is the Seven of Thank you. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So in the past, things did not go your way. Um, there was a lot of impatience on making this grow in the way that you had hoped. Um, somebody wasn't putting in the time and effort needed to make this relationship grow, and you felt like you were doing all the work. Um, you also felt like when you had your back turned that things were being done that, that you didn't like, um, in the past, things did not go your way. You weren't completely finished with a, uh, karmic cycle that had to come to a completion point. Um, and that's now affecting your, your, uh, partnership in the current energy, uh, in your, in your foundation, you have the Knight of wands. This person is very desirable, very sexy, very, but he's also very uh, playerish. He he doesn't like to settle down. Why is the Knight of Oops? Why is the Knight of Wands here in the foundation? You Gemini also could be questioning whether or not you want to settle down. This could be your energy. Um, wow, the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Wands. This is a very, very immature, inconsistent energy. Sorry, Gemini, if that is you. 
I do feel it's somebody you're dealing with, but this person um, created a need for you to heal. And when you healed, you then got out of this uh, place where you felt mentally stuck. You are preparing to walk away from this situation or you're trying to, but you're very confused. You're worried about the children, but you are truly, um, you are truly tired of putting up the fight, tired of the battle, tired of having to share your um, person with somebody else. Um, if you're a third party, but you are no longer going to continue to fight for this. This is a completion and you're ready to really bring something else into fruition ready to manifest something new. Um, somebody could have walked out on you or abandoned you or or will be in the near future um, due to a third party situation um, or you're walking away from somebody due to a third party situation and they're gonna feel um, left out in the cold because you're tired of fighting this battle yourself. You feel like every time you turn your back, they're, you know, someone's messing around or, or whatever have you. Um, you are going through, um, a, a spiritual rebirth. The confusion here is creating such a cloud in judgment though. Um, this person could be gaslighting you. They could be trying to make you think you're crazy. Um, but you're ready to be done with this. The old way of, of doing this relationship is no longer suiting you. You are worried about the children and it has kept you here for the, the, as long as it has. But you are now realizing you deserve love. You are getting out of this relationship, flying away from the situation, um, transformed, um, and knowing that you deserve more. For some of you, um, this has been a long time coming, but you are taking action. You have thought about this for quite some time, and you're doing what's best for you and walking away, feeling this person stab you in the back. Um, but you're leaving the conflict, no longer wanting to to be a part of it. No, you're removing yourself from the list of competition, fighting for this person's attention, and you're in search of true love, of, of, of a relationship that will give you the equal um, amount of attention and love that you're wanting to give. Um, it's all going to become very clear to you soon. Um, you just have to turn around and see it because the truth is there for you. Um, Gemini couples. All right. Libras see what our Libras are dealing with today in love. Libra singles. Happy birthday for those of you who are celebrating a Libra birthday today. Okay, you got retreat and new love, but I don't feel we're ready. So there we go. Your guys and angels, what do our Libra singles have going on? One card, please. One card. Thank you. All right, codependency. Affections or affections. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that could be, you know, spending too much time on your cell phone. It could be, you know, alcohol. It could be shopping, gambling. Um, you know, people don't realize cell phones are an addiction. If you roll over and check your phone before you roll over and tell your spouse or partner good morning, it's an addiction. True story. Okay. Okay. So, because that's what I'm being shown. Somebody's spending a lot of their time on their cell phone um, or you're not um, having enough social in interaction to um, meet new people. Oops. Past energy for Libra singles. You are coming out of a old cycle though and moving into a new way of doing things. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse in your past. In your near future, you have the Four of Pentacles. In your foundation and crown, uh, uh, at the bottom of the deck and your foundation of your reading is Justice. So there you are. Um, your scales are out of balance, however. In your crowning, you have the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. Changing a new way of doing things. Leaving an old way behind and um, 
moving forward out of this transformation and blooming and blossoming beautifully. Um, balancing out those inner um, light and shadow that we all have. Wow, the death card just tried to flip again. All right. You are coming into a new cycle, into a new phase. You have what it takes to fight whatever this addiction is. You have what it takes to create whatever you want to manifest into reality now. You know the lessons that uh, that you were taught and you are you have the ability now to leave behind, purge out and release anything that does not serve you. Once you do that, you do have a new beginning here. You do have a new chapter starting. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse? In the past, you've been, um, you know, you weren't focusing enough on your own garden. You have to weed out your own garden or it's going to get snuffed out by the weeds. Um, and I feel for some of you, you are surrounding yourself with, um, you know, not the best people to support your dream, to support your vision. Um, for some of them, they were a lot younger than you, a lot more immature. You were putting your love in the hands of somebody who wasn't mature enough to take that love and invest it in the future. There was a lack of working on things together because the seven and the page, she has one pinnacle in her hand, uh, makes the eight, but in reverse. So you are learning from these mistakes of the past. You are learning that you have to invest your time and effort and focus on the relationship if you want it to grow, if you want it to reach a mature level, um, not necessarily an age, but like, you know, long term instead of the short term. Bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles in the upright. So that is the lesson that you're carrying forward and now have the ability to create that new beginning. However, you must purge out um, what is not serving you and you must um, you must uh Face those codependencies. For some of you, it's financial codependency. Um, because there is a lot of uh, pentacles here. In the foundation of your reading, you have justice. Um, wow. So you were in a relationship that came to a crashing halt in the past. Libras, um, you felt this was very unfair. You felt it was very unbalanced. Um, but remember, we all play a part in the tower coming down whether we like to admit it or not, and your karmic scales are way out of balance. So what needs to happen um, when I see this Libra, no judgment, I'm not trying to you know throw shade, but you need to accept your position in the ending of your last relationship because it wasn't all just one person. You have some, um, some things to face and, and accept and admit to, to yourself. You don't have to admit them to anyone else. You just have to take responsibility for your part in the destruction of your last relationship. And when you're truthful and honest with yourself, my Libras, you will um, you will be able to pull in um, an energy that has a lot that has the ability to make and create a lot of beautiful memories. For some of you, this has to do with something that happened in your childhood um, as well. So there could be some childhood issues that you know down the road created this problem, like. I don't know, like if, you know, you felt abandoned by your parents as a child and then as an adult, you subconsciously had a part in this relationship ending because you feared them abandoning you too. You see what I'm saying? Something like that. So um, really um, go within and, and try to do an evaluation of, of how you feel, where you, where these feelings are coming from, why you feel that way and begin to work through them and your scales are going to balance out. And you're going to come out with the truth for yourself. Nobody else but for yourself. Um, and you will be able to take down that wall. You will be able to invest and not be so fearful of investing in the future with somebody. And you will be able to move forward um, in a very loving um, connection or commitment with somebody. This person is coming in for you. Um, when they come into your life, you will be very guarded. But this person is sent from the divine. And this is a true love opportunity. This person is at a distance from you at the moment, um, but you are manifesting this in. Um, yeah, you are manifesting in um, the opportunity to really 
create a happy, abundant, loving, joyful life, um, releasing the fears of failure and really being able to put your, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you fear it being broken. But by you um, working through this, you are going to manifest somebody into your life that's really going to come in at a king vibration. They're not going to come in as a page. This person is going to treat you right, have that passion and love and desire for you. And the two of you are going to be able to build a beautiful, beautiful family together, whether you have your own families already or not. But this codependency has to be released. This has to be taken care of. This is the codependency. This has to be balanced. Um, and when you address that, um, you will have somebody new coming into your life that you will get to know, love, cherish, and move forward with in a very healthy, beautiful connection um, that you're wanting, Libras. Okay. Libra couples. That was quick. All right. In your current situation, you have the two of pentacles. In your past energy, you have the hierophant in reverse. In your future energy, you have the page of swords. Your foundation of the reading is the Nine of Wands. And your crowning energy is strength. We're taking the lovers too because it's right behind it. All right. Libra couples. Let me get your card of focus for the day as well. All right. Letting go of control issues. Bottom of the deck is free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. All right, so you could be trying to resist change. You could be trying to make somebody else change. Um, but what is needed here is you need to get into the flow of life. You need to release control and allow the universe to bring in what's meant to leave what, what's not. Um, and really just allowing. This is releasing and allowing to go with the flow. It will bring you to the place you need to be. Um, the universe and your soul is the only one that knows your divine plan here. It's the only one that knows the path and it's the only one with the roadmap. Um, but a lot of times we let our ego get in the way of um, source doing its job. And that's what's happening here. You're trying to um, control the outcome and the universe is just showing you that, that you're not in control. And it's making you feel out of control, if that makes sense. So what's this Two of Pentacles about? Yeah, it's about somebody that you truly love, that you have a lot of compassion for, a lot of um, unconditional love for. This could be a spouse or somebody that you want to be your spouse. Um, but there is a lot of love here. You just have to allow things to happen in its own natural way. For some of you, you could um, be married and you want the relationship to end so you can move forward because free yourself was... Um, at the bottom of your deck, but you really want a new beginning with this uh, Queen of Cups. You really have a lot of passion and desire. You could be trying to rush things before they're ready. Um, everything will happen in its own natural timing. In the recent past, you have the Hierophant in reverse. Why is this here for Libra couples? All right, you have the Six of Cups and the Shadow side in reverse. So there was an imbalance here um, that caused this relationship to uh, hit a rough patch. Truth, clarity is coming to you. King of Cups under that. So you could feel like you're married to the wrong person. You felt like you were tied and bound to this person because there was children. Um, for some of you, you've known your spouse since childhood and you, um, you really felt bad about moving on from them. For some of you, you're waiting for somebody else to break free from a broken marriage, but they're staying out of the for the children. Um, whoever is staying in a relationship, um, it is time to free yourself because it's becoming unhealthy. Um, yeah. In the foundation, you are at a completion point. You're ready to bring into fruition something new. You are um, coming out of this a changed person. You are not the same person um, that's leaving the situation as it was coming in 
truth is coming to you and lots of clarity in the near future. Why is the page of wands or page of swords here? I'm sorry for our Libra couples. All right, releasing the burden, the heaviness, and moving forward. Healing. Look at that person's in that boat all by themselves. Leaving behind the burden and heaviness of a situation after secrets come out, after you um, tell somebody your true feelings, you no longer have to stress out about it. The truth is coming out. Either you are telling someone the truth or you are receiving the truth about some something that was hidden in the past. These are hidden feelings for some of you, but it is creating the other one to move forward and move on and the ability to move towards this Queen of Cups. Like I said, it will happen in its own natural time. Right now, you need to work on um, finding your own inner balance um, because you need to face your fear and your doubt and have the faith that when you take a step in the right direction, the universe is going to bring you in a beautiful blessing in the form of this lover that you are um, waiting for or wanting. Yeah, the page of wands. Um, you'll be receiving a message from this person in the near future. But action needs to be taken. Whether you're the one that has to release and let go and set the burden down. Or you're the one that has to tell the truth to set this person free. Um, because there's hidden feelings about somebody else that's not in the picture right now. I don't feel there's a third party situation going on as far as a sexual co connection. But I do feel that you um, have feelings that are in love with somebody else or or your person is this. Um, and you're trying to stop the change. You're trying to stop things from moving forward. Um, trying to control the situation. But it is time to free yourself. Um, so what is meant for you can come in for you um, in the form of a beautiful blessing. So, okay, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius singles. Let's see what your energy is focusing on today. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss with your feelings with each other. All right. What do I want to use? We'll use this one. Aquarius singles. What is Aquarius dealing with today? Uh-oh. Your situation is the seven of swords. In your recent past, you have the Five of Swords in reverse. In your near future, you have the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords. Wow, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck in your foundation is the Four of Pentacles. Crowning is the Ten of Pentacles with the world. Okay, so this is an ending, um, most definitely. Okay, so in the recent past, there was a need for you to walk away, to do what was best for you, and to leave a situation that was hurtful. Um, <clears throat> you were left with that choice back there um, with someone else that had the Three of Swords here, creating the heartbreak. Granted, this can be vice versa, um, so apply it as it fits. But one of you needed to walk away, and they didn't. Um, and somebody... Uh, you could have been cheating on a lover, cheating on your partner. Um, wow, yeah. So, you could have known that this person was cheating on you or you were the one cheating on this person because I feel you knew about it. And yet, nobody ended the connection. Nobody ended the relationship in the past. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, nobody walked away. Nobody severed this connection this relationship i do feel in the time of libra that may um, turn around or you're dealing with a libra but there's a lot of betrayal here aquarius um somebody is very greedy somebody's holding on to something far too long out of money reasons out of uh wow the truth is going to set you free um i do feel the truth is coming in for you about the ending of a connection um, needing to go within and find some inner guidance because this toxicity needs to come to a completion. Um, you have fives here, um, so major change, adversity. Uh, you also have your stability and your foundation that's being shaken. Um, and 
and cheating yourself out of real love, true love. Um, in the near future, there is going to be um, conflict. The conflict is going to move into you moving away, you moving forward. Why is the Five of Wands here? What's the conflict? There also could be a lot of competition, and that's why you're um, not wanting to stay committed to one person. You're wanting to move forward, seeing what else is out there. There is going to be healing from this conflict. There is going to be... Um, that Well, this is your card, Aquarius, so you possibly are the one with the options. You're the one that is, um, like I said, it can go vice versa, however, so we'll just put it where it fits. Um, either way, you're moving forward and going to find healing with the Six of Swords. Getting out of this difficult situation and, um, and having a new... You're moving away from like a spouse or long-term uh, commitment. You're following your passion. You see a new beginning. You see a way out. You see that the conflict and competition has to stop. And you need some healing from this. You need to honestly discuss this with your partner. This is the ending of a family situation though. You have it in your foundation and in your crowning. So most definitely this is the end of a cycle. Um, in your crowning you do have the world card as well. So you are completing this cycle. You are getting out of the situation. You are um, seeking justice and breaking free from this energy. No longer um, sabotaging your love life. Um, you are going to heal from the conflict. And you're going to do what's best for you and walk away. Um, healing, this inner, healing this pain um, that this relationship has caused. Um, seeing a new spark of life. Um, Creating something new is going to is gonna create a door of opportunity to open. And this situation is ending, bringing you to that single energy um, where you can um, learn to fill your own cup, where you can find that self-love. This person was not giving you the love you needed. You are going to um, disconnect and uh, for the majority of you, divorce this person that is here. Um, but it's time to honestly discuss your feelings with this person instead of, um, you know, sabotaging your future. You do have a lover here um, coming in for you in uh, the crowning in the near future after the cycle is completely done and over with and the healing from all the conflict has happened. This is in your near future, however. So stay confident, have the courage. Um, to do what's best for you and to walk away, to open up and honestly discuss um, how you're feeling with your person. Um, because it, the toxicity with that devil there, um, this this is meant to come to a close. It's just creating more heartache and more heartbreak and more need for healing than, um, than what you would think. But you are, in your future energy, you are moving away from that. So you are becoming single, uh, Aquarius. And you are going to call in that new love, that um, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, lover's love. Like, that's a big time love. So stop self-sabotaging your future and move forward, my friends. All right, Aquarius couples. What's our Aquarius couples focus need to be today? All right. You have true love and keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from uh, your usual type or expectations. This really has the potential to be the love of a lifetime. Okay. Just a couple more shuffles, Aquarius couples. I want to make sure they're good and shook up. All right, what is Aquarius couples situation they're dealing with in love today? Well, look at that. My cup runneth over, filling your own cup so full that it is overflowing and the divine is recognizing you are ready for a divine partnership. You have deserved the crown of victory and you have successfully learned how to continuously fill that cup um, to where now there's somebody coming in for you. In the recent past, 
my goodness. Well, this could be the person, this could be the single person. You got the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the World card. So you completed a major cycle, focused on your independence, focused on nurturing and loving yourself. Now it's bringing you in success. But let's see what the recent past is all about. For our Aquarius couples, you have the chariot. You moved away from a difficult situation. Even though it was heartbreaking for you, you knew that there was more than those three of cups that uh, were spilt and, and uh, not nurtured in the way that they needed. So you did move forward. You moved towards that healing. You found um, yourself. You found love for self. And you found um, your purpose, your direction in life. In the near future, you have the Queen of Wands gaining that confidence, having the courage to move forward no matter what um, no matter what your doubt is saying. The king just flipped there too. In your foundation, wow. You are coming, wow. You are coming into a perfect vibrational match. You are meeting somebody who matches your passion, matches your love of life, matches your goals. In the uh, crowning energy, This is a relationship that is most definitely moving towards success, uh, glory, taking a higher, this is like a high, yeah, I was just going to say that. This is a higher level relationship. Um, this is something that is meant for something big. You have a high priestess in your crowning. The divine has not shown you all the secrets yet. You are just now figuring out the most important uh, first step, and that's the self-love. In your bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Swords doing what's best for you and walking away from a situation and now coming into a soulmate love. Remember to keep an open mind. This is not who you think it's going to be. Um, and it's not uh, who you would expect. So, But be open to it because this is a romance of a lifetime. This is heaven sent to you. This is the two of you having a deeper purpose, but the universe has not shared its secret with you yet. You are ascending to a higher level, Aquarius um, couples. Uh, and once again, this is moving away from uh, the past and successfully moving in towards victory. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aquarius couples? You are coming into a relationship here, uh, Aquarius, a very strong one. Um, it's slow. It's been slow go. You could feel like nobody's ever coming in, but when they get there, it is somebody who is truly and divinely meant to be on your path. This has to come in slow because it's the only one that finishes the race. Somebody's going to come to you and offer you that pinnacle, invest their love, their time in you. This is success. This is going to be successful because it has the crown, the crown that is on the cup is on the sword as well. Um, this is crowned in glory, doing the divine's work here on earth, stepping into your truth, a relationship based on love and truth. Um, and it is with a fire sign more than likely. Bottom of the deck is that king of wands again in your foundation. This is somebody who truly has a lot of love and passion for you. And the two of you are going to build um, a connection together that's pretty freaking amazing. Why is this chariot here in the past? What are they moving away from? All right. So you are moving away from. Okay. So you are moving away from sabotaging your future by staying with somebody who hurt you, who cheated on you, who lied to you. You're allowing that cycle to complete. You are moving away from the deception and the, uh, and the lies and you're moving into the truth you're moving forward and completing this major cycle it's just hitting you out of the blue that you are no longer like a bolt of lightning you're no longer going to deal with this moving forward finding success and just as quick as you move out of that situation um cupid's arrow comes hitting you and the person that is coming in for you very quickly um this is going to this is going to be a very um eye-opening realization that you put up with something for far too long because this is the real deal. Why is the King of Wands in? Why is the King of Wands in the foundation here? 
This is all part of the divine plan. This person has been waiting, whether you know them or not, or they know you or not. The two of you are meant to come together now in this, on your path. Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah, this person's just been patiently waiting for you. No, tumor, no, uh, you know, rough waters, no decisions to make. That's the regular side. Um, just sitting here waiting, looking at the moon, knowing intuitively that the person who is meant for you will come in for you, that there is a past life love out there. They're just waiting for you to, to show up, waiting for you to get unstuck. And, and here you are ready. Um, why is the queen of wands here in the near future? Having, you know, gaining your self esteem, gaining your self worth and value, no longer having to, um, Try to, wow, there's that six cups at the bottom again. This is definitely a past life soulmate. No longer having to try to convince somebody of your worth. You're about to step into your path. The sun is here. It's the happiest, best card of the deck. And it's going to bring you to the happiest you've ever been, um, Aquarius couples. And I was just saying, they intuitively know that the two of you will meet on their path. And here the sun is illuminating. Sorry, I had a, like a pick up there, illuminating your way for you, showing you how bright and beautiful and, and amazing you are to not settle for someone who, um, you know, is constantly in this low vibration, um, energy. You are, look how they're looking up to the sun. The queen is, or looking at this card. She's looking up to the universe for guidance. Um, the intuit, your intuition is increasing. It's becoming stronger. You're starting to get visions, but most importantly, the sun is helping you get into your path where you're going to find that happiness. It's also healing the inner child and gaining your confidence back. Um, in your outcome, look at the duality. Number two, the high priestess, the two of wands. This is all about being at a crossroads, trying to choose what path you're meant to be on. In the reverse side, this is you looking out over all your options, but knowing in your heart of hearts and in your soul what path you're choosing. When you set out on that path and follow that sun, it's in this card as well. When you follow the sun into the path, the universe will expose its secrets to you. It will show you what you need to know to start on your on your true journey here to help the, the collective, to help uh, the earth at this time. Um, and, it's, and it all starts with that love of self. Because when you have that love of self, it multiplies and turns into that Ten of Cups love that is here for you. Um, and it's going to come in so quickly. Like a bolt of lightning, the universe is going to show you all its secrets to a successful relationship. It's increasing your intuition. It's showing you what your purpose here on this planet is at this time. And most importantly, it's giving you the passion and it's just hitting you all at once. This is amazing. And you will then take your seat as the Empress, creating a whole new world for yourself, creating a whole new life with your divine partner, doing your best to help the collective, walking away from this fuck around, fuck around energy and stepping into your power. Your beautiful um, illuminated path is right in front of you. And the universe is showing you the path to take to have the secrets of success, to stand with one foot in both worlds, um, communicating between back and forth. But most importantly, they're bringing you in your divine partner. So keep an open mind because you're not going to expect it to be this person. You're not even looking for this person. Um, you're focusing on other people, other things. So make sure you're open to receiving because you're about to experience the love of a lifetime, Aquarius couples. So congratulations and good for you. You deserve it. Um, know and realize when it does come in for you that you do deserve this. Um, don't sabotage it. Don't tell yourself it's too good to be true. Don't tell yourself you don't deserve it because I do feel that whoever this was really knocked your self-esteem down to where you believe you don't deserve to be happy and that could not be any further from the truth. You deserve this. Allow it to come in and know that this is heaven sent for you. So accept it and be happy. All right, Aquarius, much love to you guys. Thank you for joining me today. God bless. I got no rules, I count them.